Hello, entrepreneurial goddesses and women rocking business sisterhood. Welcome to Wealthy Women's Wednesdays, New Year's Visibility Challenge. I am so excited for this. Every year, I set an intention for myself and my own business, and I set an intention on behalf of my tribe. And the intention that I've set for 2018 on behalf of all of us is visibility. Because what I know, and what some of you know, because in talking to you, I've discovered this, underneath so much of the resistance and the gunk that slows us down in growing our businesses and slows you and I down, and I know is slowing some of you down in reaching the next level of impact and income or really getting your business started in a way that you really want to get it started is a resistance or a nervousness or a push-pull relationship with the visibility, right? I've surveyed a bunch of my clients and I love to survey my most successful clients. The clients that I watch go to six figures really quickly, you know, pop into the multiple six figures. And I ask them, what's like the one thing that had to shift inside of you to get you going as quickly as you're going? And they all agree across the board there's something about really getting comfortable with visibility, getting comfortable being visible that's allowed them to really pop through a lot of the gunk that holds other entrepreneurs back. And I'd say for me too, in really in the process of building a multi seven figure business in just a matter of a few years, you know, for sure, for sure, for sure, my ability to get more comfortable being visible here with you, right, is is really like in, in many ways it's the biggest it's the biggest muscle that we embrace and develop to, to get where we want to go. And I know there's people waiting for you. And what I know is that when we stand, when you stand in your own way of getting your gift into the hands of people that are actually waiting for you right now, it's it's a disservice to them more than anything right? Like, who are you to hold back your gift? And I know many of you are ready to be more visible and you just want the strategies. You're like, tell, just tell me what to do. So we're going to be talking about that this month. Every Wednesday this month is going to be about visibility. Um, and many of you may be aware that there's some mindset blocks to getting just unleashing yourself, right? You may have something holding you back. So many of you posted on the Women Rocking Business Facebook page earlier this week when I put up the post, and many of you let me know that um, you've got nervousness around being more visible. What is that going to mean, right? So um, I've been taking an inventory of what many of you have been sharing with me, and today I want to make sure to get you some mindset shifts around visibility so that we can get you as comfortable going out there and being visible as possible. I'm also going to be giving you a visibility video challenge. Um, I'm going to invite you to make an imperfect two-minute video this week. Yes, I know, this week, for those of you that aren't as comfortable with a video, you might be like, all right, Sage, that's great. Thanks for the challenge, but no thanks. <laughs> but just hear me out. My team and I decided to give away over $5,000 worth of free business training to three of you who post what we feel is the sort of bravest video. So we're not looking for the best video. We're looking for the video where we could tell like you stretched yourself. You might be a really shy person and this is the first video that you've made or maybe you're used to making videos but you get on camera and you do something, you know, creative to really get all of our attention. That two-minute visibility video, I'm going to tell you all about it at the, be at the end of this episode, um, but the idea is really just to get on camera for two minutes or less, don't go longer than two minutes, and just share what it is that you stand for. What are you standing for on behalf of your clients and customers? What do you stand for more than anything? And bonus points if you share what you stand for in a way that brings a face to mind, right? That really passes the face test so that we know who to refer to you. Now, this is not a sales pitch, right? This is just an opportunity for you to put a stake in the ground. Here is what I'm standing for on behalf of this particular person, right? Or this particular group of people. 
and to really do that uh, for your, from your heart. That's why we're calling it an imperfect video challenge. So um, all you've got to do is post that two minute video in the next week by Tuesday night and uh, we'll be giving prizes out next Wednesday. And then throughout the month of January, every Wednesday, we're going to be giving strategies and uh, mindset tools and I'll be doing some breakthrough coaching with a couple of you as well as we go on. But today is about mindset. So let's talk about the mindset of being more visible this year. Again, the more visible you're willing to be, the easier your business is going to get. Stay with me because think about it. As you're willing to get more visible, you can get in front of more and more people. Not everybody is going to be interested in hiring you, right? So the more people you can get in front of, the more potential clients you're going to reach and the more you're going to actually be in front of the people who actually are waiting for you. And the more you can do that, obviously, the more people you can help. Now, the more income you can create as a business owner, that allows you to hire a team. It allows you to hire your first assistant. It allows you to delegate the things that you don't want to be doing, like sending email blasts and invoicing your clients and trying to figure out your website. Many of you shouldn't be doing that stuff anyway. We, you and I, for most of us, we're meant to be teaching. We're meant to be inspiring. We're meant to be sharing knowledge. And the sooner we can get you doing more of that, the sooner we can get you out of the tasks that are going to cause a slow, painful death in you. I mean, let's be honest. There's only so much of the detail organization that we're meant to be doing if we're meant to be leading a company, right? I have women, amazing women who work for me that tell me, Sage, I actually like tracking the details. I love this stuff. I get off on planning launches. I Thank you, God. Thank you for Jennifer Sebastian. Thank you for Shannon Fisher, right? Like, thank you for these incredible goddesses who want to come help spread the message and do some of the things that my brain is literally not meant to do. So the sooner we can get you being more visible, the sooner we can get you giving away the things that you're not meant to be doing and just getting out there being in what I call your zone of genius. All right. So there's several mindset shifts I'm going to be sharing and spiritual practices I'm going to be sharing this month to help you get your message out in a bigger way so that you can really have the freedom business that you've been longing to create and really help you go big this year if that's what you want to do. So what are the mindset shifts that you can make to have more fun being visible. I mean, this it does not have to be a struggle. Number one, the question I want to ask, and I invite you to please, please, please post below. Do not just sit on the other side of the computer and hide out and like feel like you're invisible when this whole theme is about visibility, okay? So post below, what do you associate with visibility? that you know might be holding you back from being as unleashed and visible as you're meant to be? What do you associate with being more visible that may be holding you back? The only way to clear this is to share it, okay? So ask yourself, what is it for you? If I'm more visible than fill in the blank, what bad thing might happen? If I get more visible, if I start impacting more people, what is the worst thing that could happen? What am I most afraid of? Now, many of you have been posting this week and sharing deeply from your hearts and from your souls. And one of the things that's come up is that you associate visibility with a sense of having to take on a lot more responsibility Okay, visibility equals responsibility. Let me know if you have that post below. Is that something that you have? Right? The more we can actually be engaging with the shift that we can all make right now, feel the collective consciousness, feel the women, the thousands of women that have gathered in honor of a true entrepreneurial sisterhood. We're here to support you. We're here to support each other. Congratulations for being here and thank you for being here.
And let's collectively enter into a shift in consciousness together right now. Because if you're associating visibility with responsibility, which is something that I've absolutely done, then it's so important to start to unpack that a little bit, right? So let's start to unpack it together. Just write down your aha moments on the comment section below so that we can get clear on what it is that's happening inside of us. What got linked up in our programming that we could start to unlink and unpack a bit and become more free collectively and together. Okay, so let's just ask ourselves this. So if we believe that being more visible is going to bring about a lot more responsibility for us, then we will oftentimes associate that responsibility with more work, more stress, more anxiety, more things to have to take care of. Okay, so then the next question becomes, what are you associating with responsibility? Right? Because let's just pause and, and, and take a look at this. The most successful people on the planet have a shit ton of responsibility. Let's be honest. They may have a lot of responsibility, but they also have a lot of freedoms that you and I don't have. In fact, the more responsibility I've taken on over the last 10 years in my business and my company, the more freedom I've, I've, I have. I just got back from Costa Rica. It was an incredible trip. Um, I'm looking at investing in a retreat center down there with my friends, Ben and Jen. And, you know, I could move down there if I wanted to. Like, I could spend six months a year in Costa Rica if I wanted to. Like, it was so liberating to be down there. And Costa Rica is the happiest country on the planet right now. I mean, the, the energy there, the Pura Vida, you know, um, mindset just kind of went in my bones and really restored me after my book launch. It was just a magical, magical time. I swam in waterfalls and, you know, laid on the white sand beach and uh, ate coconut ice cream. I mean, it's just, you know, it's freedom. It's, it's the reason we become entrepreneurs in the first place. And the more responsibility I've been willing to take on, the more freedom I have. And this is true of the most incredible, potent, powerful leaders on the planet. I mean, look at Oprah, look at Tony Robbins, look at those thought leaders that are paving the way for us. Have they taken on a hell of a lot of responsibility? Yeah. But did they have disposable income to take care of themselves as needed to go where they want with who they want when they want, right? So for us to start to kind of reprogramming around like any resistance that we have to responsibility, period, you know, to surrender. I invite you right now to surrender to what would it be like to just allowing more, allowing for more in your life, more impact, more responsibility that doesn't necessarily have to be heavy. It doesn't necessarily have to be more work. What if as you grow, what if the more responsibility you were willing to take on, the less you were ever doing anything alone? I mean, I tell my team all the time, I'm like, y'all are entrepreneurs. Like when I hire people in my business, one of the first things I tell my team is when you work for me, when you work for us, when you work for Women Rocking Business, you are saying yes to being an entrepreneur alongside me. We're growing this thing together. There's no insurance policy. There's no sign on the dotted line. And I'm guaranteeing you an income for the next five years. Like we're in this together. We're growing it together, right? We are all, everybody on my team is income producing in some way. We all have a stake in the pie that's growing. And that's one of the reasons why I have such an incredible team, right? Um, and the, 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 the more members of, the more loyal faithful, creative, incredible women that join my team. We just had another incredible woman um, join our team. And the more our team grows, the more I feel a sense of community and collaboration and really doing it together. And for those of you that want to taste that, you want a taste of that in your lifetime, man, I am putting a stake in the ground for you to have it. Because I would say those first couple years of growing a business can be it can be some of the most isolating times. That's why we have to we have to be in, in communities like this. The sooner you can really align 
with other entrepreneurs. And I especially love aligning with other women entrepreneurs because we just inherently oftentimes know how to support each other because we know what each other needs because it's the same thing as what we need. We need our sisters to remind us why we're doing this, you know, who we are, how talented we are, um, to really stand there and say, hey, I'm not giving up on you and I'm not letting you be a victim, right? And I'm not letting you play small this year. Let's go. We're going together what's next? What are you going to do next? Right? The more we can create that for ourselves in the beginning, that'll get you through the first couple of years, the first 18 months or so. And then as soon as you can, and many of you are ready for this now, if you haven't already, get a team member on, you know, stop worrying about having to take responsibility for someone else and start asking yourself, how much more could I do when I have someone by my side doing this with me? How many more people could I reach, right? How much bigger of a difference could I make? How much more income can I create so we can all go further together? So my first invitation to you on the visibility mindset video training is to shift any nervousness you have around having to take all that responsibility and shift it into a knowingness that responsibility equals freedom. Okay, so write that down. Responsibility equals freedom. The more responsibility I'm willing to take, the more freedom I can have. You know, I came back from Costa Rica. I got a massage one day. I went and got my network chiropractic treatment the next day. I went and got a pedicure the next day. I hung out with my friends. And then I had an amazing visit with my family and you know, I just, I get to take care of myself in a way that I never used to be able to afford to now that I'm a leader and I'm putting a stake in the ground for every single one of us to be able to embrace responsibility. And then in turn, as we embrace that responsibility, we're willing to be more visible too. Okay. Are you picking up what I'm laying down? My team and I say, do you hear me clucking? I hear you clucking big chicken. (laughs) So post below if you can relate to this whole visibility responsibility piece and then your affirmation, write this down and somebody type it into the comments thread, please. Responsibility equals freedom and you don't have to do this alone. Okay, another piece that many of you reported on was that being more visible, you're afraid will bring about judgment from other people. Duh, of course. And you know, there's truth to all of these. That's why they're lodged in so deep because they're actually true. You know, that's why they mess with us so much. More visibility does bring about more responsibility. You know, so we allow the responsibility to grow us, to turn us into better leaders, better leaders of our own lives. Leaders who can also set boundaries and take amazing care of ourselves and more visibility will bring about more judgment because I mean, right? Like it's actually true. Like if we're in front of more people, more people to judge us, right? So let's just unpack this for a moment and just let us know below. Is this true for you? Do you fear the judgment that comes with more visibility. I know I have. I know I still do. So let's just breathe into this one for a moment. What is it that scares us so much about being judged by other people? Wow, right? It's so real. It's a trick to to stay out of the fear associated with being judged. So um, I'll just share a little bit about how I've grappled with this myself. Um, I'll never forget one of my spiritual teachers talked about how we all fear judgment. You know, we all fear judgment so deeply. But when you really look at it, you really look at the people on the planet who are the most successful, who have created the most impact. They are highly judged people. There's almost always people pushing up against them in some way, right? In fact, if you don't have anybody pushing back against you, if if you're not creating any amount of resistance, if you don't have any haters, what are you standing for, right? My team protects me from a lot of the, you know, the feedback that we sometimes get, you know, Sage should put more makeup on or (laughs) why is Sage swearing on camera? You know, 
one of the things that my spiritual teacher said when we were having this conversation, I'll never forget it. She said, the more judged you are, the more money you're going to make. Isn't that fascinating? I mean, look at Madonna. <laughs> like, Probably one of the most judged women of our lifetimes and probably one of the most successful. I mean, she's out there like with her little cone boobs, you know, love Madonna. I love Madonna. I love how bold she is. So there's a trick to, it's kind of, for me, it's kind of like a shortcut to uh, stay out of the fear of being judged. And that is to create deep, really deep sisterhood allies with other women entrepreneurs. You know, the women in our programs, the women in our training programs oftentimes will team up and they'll, they'll sometimes be checking in with each other multiple times a day by text. They'll have phone calls in the morning where they just for 10 or 15 minutes each just check in. What are you going to do today? You know, what are you committed to? And then they really hold each other accountable. Um, and when they fear the judgment and when they find themselves looping in, you know, feeling like they're, they're up against a small part of themselves, they always out themselves really quickly on the Facebook page or with each other so that they can keep each other out of that loop of taking on other people's judgments. Um, so that, that trick, right, to really staying out of the fear of judgment is to be sure you have enough support from people who will actually remind you who you are. I have a very close-knit group of people myself uh, that I reach out to when I start to doubt myself. And I do not hesitate. The minute I feel that, you know, grip of uh, the shadow coming in, like if, you know, if, if I feel criticized by something that happens in my company or with my leadership, you know, I don't even wait anymore to try to talk myself out of it myself. There is a way in which we have to have the external validation of others to hold us up when we're feeling small. There absolutely is some lifting up that we can do of ourselves. However, I believe if we are going to be leaders impacting thousands of people, you know, as I've grown into the place where we're now impacting over 100,000 people, I'd say the level of... Um, commitment I've had to have to reaching out for support has had to grow. I've actually had to get more vulnerable, more willing to advocate for my own needs to uphold the growth that has happened in my own visibility. And I'll be honest, there's no way, there is no way I'd be reaching over 100,000 people right now if it weren't for a dozen or so of my closest entrepreneurial colleagues that I met through enrolling in training programs, right? Because when you're in training programs with other entrepreneurial colleagues, you have the same language that you're learning to use to apply to your business. And so community is key. You know, don't try to do it alone. That's the way you're going to be able to sidestep that looming fear of others judging you, to have enough positive, acknowledging tribe around you, putting like whispering in your ear, like, you're amazing. You're a light on this planet. You are unstoppable. Don't listen to or believe anything else that comes in. And I'm not saying don't take feedback, you know, because when we have feedback come into our office, we take it very seriously. We absolutely are committed to learning from the feedback that comes into our office. But when it's like pokey and mean, it's just like, you know, it's just, it's just, for us, our, our prayer is always, you know, may you go out and find success, right? <laughs> Rather than criticizing other people. So I just want to, I just want to really remind you um, to stop doing it alone. If you are noticing that you may be doing it alone too much, um, you got to have, you got to have strong, strong tribe around you. And, you know, God rewards courage. I've seen it over and over and over again. Okay, write that down. God rewards courage or the goddess or whatever word you want to insert there. So visibility, responsibility, embracing responsibility and embracing judgment, being okay with the, the, the more humans 
paying attention, more judgment happening, more impact that you're going to be able to make. Let's talk about the third mindset shift. Okay, so we've talked about responsibility. We've talked about judgment. The third one I saw on the page here and that I know has definitely been a part of my journey and a part of many of my clients' journeys in terms of saying yes to more visibility is the fear that that visibility is going to come with some level of negative impact on our health. Okay, that visibility, more visibility is going to equal burnout. This one's big. Can you feel it? Like it's really big. Let me know below in the comment section what this feels like for you. Yeah, what like what specific fear does this have for you? Have you had adrenal fatigue before? Do you have a way that anxiety and stress really affect you physically that you're most afraid of? And many of us are introverted. You know, I know this will surprise some of you, but I am not 100% extrovert. I'm much more of an ambivert. Um, I, I need a certain amount of units per week of like kind of wombed up, curled up, you know, time with myself or time with just like one or two loved ones. I, can't, I don't source, I don't restore my batteries by being around other people. Okay, so I have a very strong introvert in me, and I know many of you do too. There's a way in which we have to learn to take care of ourselves, um, especially those of us that have an introverted side when it comes to visibility. Okay, so my, my journey around this has been to really start to understand that you know, the way energy works, it's like the ocean. You know, the ocean rises, the tide rises, and the tide falls. Energy expands and energy contracts. Um, you know, the more I can open up and allow that to happen, the more I allow myself to expand and be more visible, and, and that can juice me, right? There, there's a little bit of adrenaline in a healthy way that flows through. There's um, you know, the feel, the feel good hormones, the oxytocin that happens when I can feel the love flowing out of me and then back into me from reading your comments. Um, and then what happens is, you know, at the end of the day, or sometimes even right after a Facebook live or right after I get off stage, you know, in front of hundreds of people, what happens oftentimes is I can, I'll feel the energy start to contract and it's scary. It's like, oh my gosh, what just happened? I just opened myself up too big. And what I've learned to do rather than resist that is to ride the waves and trust the contraction. Okay, so write that down. Trust the expansion and trust the, the contraction. It's only normal that after we open up, we would want to contract back up again and womb up and, and nurture ourselves and, and integrate what just happened. Uh, I know, you know, um, there's been many performers, including Louise Hay, who when she got off stage, she needed people to just tell her she did an amazing job and, you know, give her big hugs. Um, I'm the same way, you know, when we, we contract like that, we, we're reaching that many people. Um, it kind of feels like, especially after I'm on stage in a live room, and almost, after I get off stage, it actually can feel like I just had sex with like 500 people. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's vulnerable. So my invitation to you, just like I had an invitation for your associations with responsibility and judgment, my, my invitation for you with this piece around burnout and worrying that visibility can affect our health is to trust the contraction. Um, my trick is I, I put on a hoodie. I literally have a hoodie, you know, that I put on, like, here's one actually right here. I always do this after my, you know, after my Facebook lives, I just put my hoodie on and I kind of womb up and I'm like, okay, it's, I did it. You know, I did it. And then I'll read the comments. I'm like, oh good. Somebody got something out of it. And then, you know, I just go inside and I'm just like, oh, okay, good. Just like nourish, nourish, nourish. So I'm glad I had a hoodie right there. I wasn't even planning on that. Um, 
when you associate visibility with a sense of responsibility, keep in mind that more responsibility can actually, it actually will and does bring about a lot more freedom. And when you notice that you're resisting visibility because of judgment, make sure that you're tracking like your three P, you gotta have three sisters by your side. Who are your three sisters? Okay, if you need a sister, post below. Who wants to check in with me? Who wants an entrepreneurial buddy? All right, more and more throughout the year, I'm gonna be really challenging you guys in the entrepreneurial sisterhood. And if you're not watching this video on the Women Rocking Business Sisterhood page, go over there and comment in the page because that's where the good stuff is really happening. There's a tribe forming. I mean, God, we have incredible, incredible support happening over there. We had a sister um, just a week or so ago who was thinking of, of giving up on her business. And within a matter of days, she had 45 comments of women supporting her and giving her great ideas of how she could get back on track and how she could think about her business so that she wouldn't give up. So if you know you have that fear of judgment associated with more visibility, gather your tribe, gather your three sisters, and... Pledge yourself to them. Let them know that you've got you've got their backs and their sides and their fronts. And uh, they'll let you know the same. And then you guys can do this together. We can go so much further together. A rising tide lifts all boats. And then if you fear burnout, and I can really relate to that one, go find your entrepreneurial hoodie so that you can take care of yourself and womb up after you get out there. And uh, go make your video. Go make your two-minute video. That's your challenge. Make an imperfect two-minute visibility video. You've got to post it on the Women Rocking Business Sisterhood Facebook page. You can upload it directly to the page. Um, if you can't figure out how to do that, you can also upload it to YouTube and post the link. Um, but ideally, just upload it directly to the Facebook page, okay? Uh, it can't be longer than two minutes. So make sure you make that video that's two minutes or less and let us know what it is it that you stand for. What are you standing for on behalf of your clients and your customers? What is it that you are committed to supporting people with in this lifetime? Make sure your video is imperfect. Okay, do not make it too perfect. You don't need fancy lighting. You don't need a fancy camera. You can make the video on your computer. You can make it on your iPhone. Whatever is easy, cheesy, easy peasy. When you are making your video, make sure you hold your iPhone horizontal not vertical. When you when you do a video vertical, it puts those black bars on the side and we just can't see you as well. So hold your iPhone horizontal, speak into the camera, just like you're looking into the eyes of somebody that you love or favorite client or a best friend. And just be open-hearted and completely imperfect. Let us know what you're standing for. This is not a sales video. This is not a sales pitch. This is a heartfelt practice of your own visibility. That's step one. Posting the video is step one. Now, if you want to enter the contest to be eligible to win up to $5,000 worth of free business training, step two is that you'll be going and acknowledging three sisters on their videos. Okay, you got to do the acknowledgement piece or this video challenge isn't going to bring about the amount of healing that I'm intending for you for 2018 because the healing happens when we have the courage to post a video. For some of you, it might be your very first video. For some of you, you've been making videos, but you want to play because you're a freaking rock star. Make the video and then the healing happens when you end up having five or six or 10 comments of your fellow entrepreneurial sisters who see you and who acknowledge you for your courage, your eloquence, your grace, your softness, your radiance, your light, your commitment to your clients. So post your video, number one. Number two, go through and acknowledge at least three entrepreneurial sisters on their videos. Don't just acknowledge one sister. Don't just acknowledge two sisters. You gotta acknowledge three sisters. That's how you enter the contest. You do that by Tuesday night, and we're gonna choose three winners next Wednesday for Wealthy Women's Wednesday. I can't wait to see you there. Perhaps you will be the one that I will be gifting 
free business training too for 2018. It's an honor to be by your side this month. We're going to be rolling out our events that change lives curriculum. We're going to be rolling out my $50,000 workshop recipe. Keep an eye for that. We're going to be rolling out um, an assessment that I've created called what type of workshop leader are you? It's a month of visibility. It's a month about getting you on stage. It's a month full of great resources to help you get in front of people. Um, it's an honor to be here with you. I can't wait to watch your two minute videos. Have a great time making them, have fun. Be bold, be courageous, be edgy. Try something that you wouldn't normally try. You know, make a video in a hoodie. I'll do something fun for you guys too. Congratulations, your clients are waiting for you. They're not just waiting for someone like you, they're actually waiting for you. I can't wait to see your video. Mwah. See you on the sisterhood.